Pennsylvania's next big political fight is about to play out at the state capitol. There are lots of people becoming informed, lots of people paying attention. It's a big issue and we want to do it right. Senate State Government Chair Dave Argel is talking about redistricting. Once every 10 years, when new census data comes out, the political power players meet in Harrisburg to decide your representative districts. And this will be the first time in 30 years lines will be drawn off a split government. It's one of the most important uh, issues before the legislature, but we're not going to have a lot of time to deal with it. Redistricting can get complicated, so stay with me. First, there's the process to redraw lines in the state house and Senate. And for the first time since 1991, Democrats have an upper hand. State lines are drawn by a five person commission. Four were announced last week. House and Senate Majority Leaders Carrie Benninghoff and Kim Ward and Democratic leaders Joanna McClinton and Jay Costa. The fifth is a mutually agreed upon tiebreaker. And if or when there's no agreement, the state Supreme Court now controlled by Democrats, will decide. There are Democrats who are not really eager for reform because they're looking forward to um, drawing maps for themselves. Uh, the Republicans have a chance to put better rules in place. Will they do that? We don't know, but we're certainly asking them to. Carol Cunningham of the redistricting reform group Fair Districts PA wants more transparency in map drawing. Why are counties or municipalities split into multiple districts? She says Fair Districts PA is trying to meet with all 253 district leaders, 203 in the House, 50 in the Senate, in a push to end gerrymandering. When you get a district as bad as Goofy Kicking Donald and it's nationally known as, a, as a, one of the worst gerrymandered districts in the country, um, it's embarrassing and people realize they can't do that again. That's what happened when the legislature last drew congressional lines, specifically Pennsylvania's 7th district. These congressional lines were eventually redrawn by the state Supreme Court after a lawsuit. This time, the GOP will still draw Congress lines, however. So they're not going to give the governor a bill. You know, he might he might, if they give him a bill and he vetoes it, right, it comes back to the House and Senate again, and we're going to have to do it. So there's going to be more compromise here than ever before. Time, though, is not on their side. Census data may not be delivered until September, meaning maps will also be delayed just months before the 2022 midterms. Matt Mazel, Fox 43 News.